this is Kiril Patel. Today I am going to show you that if you have an array of object and uh, if you wanted to perform some operation on this kind of object array then what I have uh, three approaches for that. So let me go through the first approach. See. This is the first approach where you can do simply use the for loop. See, this kind of for loop allows you to return the element or we can say the break the array by iterating. Okay, so what do you mean by that? So, see, I have a let's say three or six, six element in my array. So if I doesn't specify the condition that if I found the hello just break the array or break the iteration of the array. So let's see how it looks and based on this condition it will break the array and it will not going to print it the further elements. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. See, it will just print it the first element of the array which is this one. After that I mentioned the condition and just return it. So if you don't want to use return you can use also the break it will work. Yeah here it is. Yeah it is one. Now let's uh, do the second array. The second approach of array that is use the every. See the every and the for each works perfectly as a similar but there is a drawback to use the forage and empty so I can go through it see as we use here the for loop allows us the break or return statement so we can break our iteration of the loop same thing this every function allows you to uh, stop your iteration of the loop say it has a true and false true properties or two boolean values so see what happens see i printed the console the first element so first element will, will be printed that is high after that i just stop the loop say so it will not going to print it uh, these elements see only the first will be printed the rest of not printed if you want to print it the whole loop what you can do is just make it true now you can see see it will print it the whole array which you find here yeah so it's pretty simple the true and false you can uh, use as per your condition wherever you want to break your loop you can use the false and you are, if you want to continue the loop you can use true that's it okay. so as I said the every and the for each loop both are same but the cons cons is a uh, drawbacks of for loop for each loop is that uh, it doesn't allow you to use the break statement or return or which uh, these two loops are allow us to break the our iteration of the array so you can't uh, put any break or any return statement here if you want to put let's see element dot message equal equals let's say hi and on based on this condition if you want if you write return see it will want one still it's interest for the all the elements go through the all elements so it will print the all elements in this for each one see even if you read even if you wrote the return statement it doesn't work in a for each one see if you write a break over here it will say it's the error 
so jump target can cross the function into boundary so these are the three formations or we can say three types three approaches you can use for the object array if you want to just stop or you can say on the particular condition if you want to stop your array to iterate the rest of the part you can go go with the for loop or uh, every every function and if you want to iterate the, all the elements of the array you can go with the for each thank you try this with uh, your own and put a different condition and you can check